Hi everyone, my name is Elise Lewis. I am a UX researcher with the University of South Florida, an amateur bodybuilder, and I'm competing in the Miss Black USA 2020 pageant as Miss Black Florida 2020. Part of my platform in this pageant focuses heavily on teaching people to elevate themselves and others around them. So that includes health and wellness, so physical fitness. It also includes education. I used to volunteer as a teacher with children that were between the ages of five and six, and I would teach them to read and write. So today I'm very happy because the Early Learning Coalition sent me a book to read to the kids online. Cows Can't Blow Bubbles by Dave Reisman. Let's begin. Cows can't blow bubbles, but they can drip puddles. Peacocks can't drip puddles, but they can flare fans. Swans can't flare fans, but they can dance into hearts. Pufferfish can't dance into hearts, but they can design circles. Beluga whales can't design circles but they can exhale rings. Jackfish can't exhale rings, but they can spawn tornadoes. Pelicans can't spawn tornadoes, but they can migrate in a V. Water buffaloes can't migrate in a V, but they can swish an S. Gnats can't swish an S, but they can swarm in clouds. Crayfish can't swarm in clouds, but they can erect chimneys. Deer can't erect chimneys, but they can walk a line. Albatrosses can't walk a line, but they can flap an M. Hornets can't flap an M, but they can sculpt hexagons. Geckos can't sculpt hexagons, but they can curl crescents. Gophers can't curl crescents, but they can pile mounds. Leopards can't pile mounds, but they can stretch into triangles. Fireflies can't stretch into triangles, but they can flash dots. Sheep can't flash dots, but they can roll into balls and sleep. Thank you to the Early Learning Coalition for providing this book to me so that I can read it with you, with you all online today. Also, kids, if you were listening to that story, I want you to think about what was your favorite part? Was there a particular word that you really liked? Practice writing it down. Also, as a challenge, think of a picture that you really like, try coloring it, and then write a story of your own to go with that picture. Maybe you really liked, I don't know, the gnats in the story. Write a story about gnats. If you really liked the beluga whales and how they exhaled rings, write something about beluga whales. And parents, if you are in need of early education providers and you need some resources, please check out elcpinellas.org. That's elcpinellas.org. Thank you everyone for listening and continuing to learn. Hashtag elevate.